speaking, while on his hospital bed, Hassan Guya recounted his encounter with the jumbo that was concealed by the thickets as he grazed close to the bushes, oblivious of the danger he was in. According to Dr. Mohamed Abdikadir, Al Fala Hospital Medical Director, the elephant task savored all structures of Hassan's chest wall, including muscles, blood vessels, and lungs. He said the patient was lucky to have survived. Apart from the muscles and the blood supplies, the vessels and the nerves innervations, the other part which was affected is um, the, the upper lobe of the lungs on the left side. He just survived by a whisker, otherwise the task almost just passed over the heart. Otherwise it was just by grace of God that the, the, the young man survived. Mohammed underscored the increase of human wildlife conflicts with the facility attending to at least six similar cases in the last two months. Before this, we had a patient who was attacked by a buffalo from Kina. Then later, we brought a patient from um, Barambate who was attacked by a, by a lion. In fact, not one, twice. And then there's also another one who was attacked by um, a crocodile those sides of the bilico. So we received like uh, uh, six patients in a span of two months. Omar Boru Hadessa, the father of Hassan, decried the numerous instances of wildlife attacking people in Isiolo, calling upon the Kenya Wildlife Service to take action to minimize their attacks. Naomba KWS wa shogulikia hii mijambo na kati ya hii ndovu ni mmoja aneza kwa ndiombaya kati ya yote. Huyo mmoja atafutwe. Ikiwa ataweza kumshika warudishe paka ama ndovu wao wafunge ndani ya park itakuwa ni solution bora. Officers from the Kenya Wildlife Services visited the scene of the attack in Garbatula and recorded a statement from the victim at the hospital requesting the victim to only visit their offices upon full recovery to begin the compensation process. Alan Wino for K24.